There's a book that sits on my bookshelf that is unlike any other. It invites people to go out and learn about the world in order to better make sense of what was written in it and in order to prove its own authenticity beyond a shadow of a doubt. In fact, the book encourages its readers to read, learn, ponder and question things, so much so that the first word revealed from the book was read. But it doesn't stop there. The book goes on to challenge its readers, especially the scientists and scholars among them, with statements such as, we will show them our signs in the universe and in their own selves until it becomes manifest to them that this is the truth. And these similes we put forward for mankind, but none will understand them except those who have knowledge. The author of this book gives us the total freedom to either believe or disbelieve in what he wrote. But at the same time, the author tells us that he also has the freedom to determine our fate after death with either eternal happiness in paradise or an eternal painful punishment in hell. There is no third option. The following is just one quote from the book's many profound passages, given as a quick and simple example to help you understand what I mean. The author swears that indeed what is written inside this book is very serious and is not a joke. But the amazing part is that the author swears by two phenomena that at the time the book was revealed, 1400 years ago, were completely unknown to man in any way. The quote is as follows, by the sky which has the bounce, by the earth which has the crack. Indeed what is written inside the book is very serious and it's not in jest. Do you know what these two phenomena are? I will tell you. Simply put, when space is stretched out, it bounces, while when the Earth is stretched out, it cracks. Although we can't see a bounce in the sky, in 1916, Einstein's game-changing theory of relativity determined that spatial bodies move in the fabric of space in much the same way as a child bounces on a stretchy trampoline. And although we've always intuitively known that rocks are incredibly strong and can't be stretched apart, in 1789, when Iceland's sulfur fissure was opened, and in 1927, when the first crack in the earth was recorded in the Arizona desert, it was confirmed just how fragile and changeable our earth really is. A book from 1962 entitled Notes on Earth Fissures in Southern Arizona by Geraldine Robinson and Dennis Peterson published the information about the cracks in the earth that were first recorded in Arizona. So it was only in 1916 that science learned that the sky, space, has a bounce to it, which is at the heart of Einstein's theory of relativity. And it was only in 1927 that science learned that the Earth has cracks. Yet not unsurprisingly, the ancient book that I speak of contains numerous proofs in the form of scientific facts and natural wonders that were only discovered by scientists centuries later. How is this possible? How could a book revealed so long ago, before the advent of basic modern tools and technologies, contain such accurate information about scientific phenomena? There is only one explanation for such a thing. The author of the book is the creator of the universe. The book was written by God himself. Do you know the book that I'm talking of? It's called the Holy Quran and is such an impressive book that it would forever change the course of the world. The Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad over the course of 23 years in the 6th century. It was a miracle back then and remains a miracle to this day. Though the Prophet Muhammad received the revelation and transmitted it to the people, he did not have any part in writing it. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad was illiterate. He never learned to read or write. What makes the Quran so unique is that it contains wisdom and knowledge that never gets outdated. And for a book from the 6th century, that's pretty exceptional. Not only has the Quran stood the test of time and remained accurate, even with all the modern advancements mankind has been able to accomplish with the help of cutting edge technologies, the Quran has, in numerous chapters, challenged anyone who doubts its authenticity to come up with something that can stack up against it. Many disbelievers at the time of the Prophet liked to spread the lie that the Quran was written by the Prophet himself instead of God Almighty. This is how the Quran responded to their false claims. Or do they say he, Prophet Muhammad, has forged it, this Quran? Nay, they believe not. Let them then produce a recitation like it if they are truthful. And if you are in doubt as to what we have revealed from time to time to our servant, then produce a chapter like thereunto and call your witnesses or helpers, if there are any, besides Allah, if your doubts are true. In short, the Quran challenged them just as it has challenged scholars, intellectuals and scientists for the past 1400 years to refute the messages and declarations contained within it. 
None have yet been able to meet this challenge, and that's for a good reason. The Word of God is foolproof. So join us as we delve into the fascinating pages of the Holy Quran, the miracle that keeps on giving.